I've been in doTERRA since the beginning and because of what's happened with me I know that somebody's got to talk about it somebody's got to talk about it right because I've seen what happens uh, down the road when people do certain things and I don't want it to happen to you and I do have to be a little bit vulnerable when I talk about some of the things that I'm going to share with you because let's face it I've made some mistakes and am I going to share those with you oh yeah you'll get to hear all the juicies as time goes on I'll keep spilling more and more of the beans right right now I'm going to create a little house here and just give it some color you know playing along here while some people hop on because uh, this house is going to play into the story that I have to share with you okay start getting those lines up a little bit just playing along here and I'm doing this very simply because we're just kind of like kids don't you think we need to uh, just play a little bit like kids <laughs> thanks for hopping on here you know by revealing uh, what I'm going to reveal to you it's going to help you build a stronger team and that's important let's give it a little bit of a roof color here all right and once again question you know what this is reflecting some things outside all right these windows how's that what are your up blind telling you how to build well I'm going to talk about that okay how to structure your team for long-term success and both with your business and with relationship okay okay so you know when when we ask that question like what is your upline telling you let's put some grass in here okay first of all it depends on you know what their motivation is what they're telling you and what you're telling other people okay so ask yourself these questions so you know what they're telling you to do what they're suggesting that you do and how you structure your team how you place people how you build is it to support your goals what you need and what you want have they asked you that and if you're a leader have you asked people you know what they want and are you really honoring what they want or is it you know are you suggesting that they do what they do to simply to help you get to rank so you know what's going on and can both things be accomplished at the same time that's a good question can both things be accomplished okay I wish I had some more colors but I don't so we'll just play with that as it is all right maybe we need some um, color up here in the sky just for fun okay we're just playing all right so how does this come into the picture I'm going to tell you a story okay are you ready for a story thanks for hopping on here okay so this is uh, imagine that you are uh, you're a parent and you live in this little house here isn't that just the cutest little house <laughs> okay guys thanks for hopping on here by the way this this will be a fun one for you this will be very different okay uh, just glancing to see who's on here I can see some of you awesome good to see you good to see you okay so this is your house and you're a parent whether you are or you you aren't imagine that you are and so you need your lawn mode you need this lawn mode and you've got a couple of kids that are very capable of uh, mowing the lawn okay so you bring uh, kid number one outside this will be you know kid number one okay and you're ask ask this kid you're like hey would you like to make some money would you like to make some money and they're like oh yeah I'd love to make some money right and you need some help it's like this is going to be awesome like you can get your kid to help you mow the lawn okay so anyway so uh, this kid says yes wants to make the money so you're like all right here's the deal here's the deal see this lawn here okay if you will mow this half right here if you'll mow this half 
I'll get you another marker here. Let me see here. If you'll mold this half, I'm going to make that little guy a little darker. Every month that you, you're going to mow this, I'm going to give you $50. Okay? You guys now want a lawn mowing job, right? $50 every month that you mow this lawn. Now, you have to start the mower, gas it up, and push the mower and mow this grass, okay? So, kid number one, all excited about it, right? Like, okay, I'm, I'm going to mow the lawn, and I'm going to make 50 bucks a month. Okay, so now you're, you've talked to kid number two over here. So here's kid number two. And kid number two, you're like, hey, hey, come here. Do you want to make some money? I should have used a marker first, but I'll just do it that way. Do you want to make some money? I was like, yeah, I want to make some money. Woohoo! I want to make money. Okay, come out here. So you go outside, and you're like, okay, here's the, this half of the lawn, okay? And actually, these are the same size of lawn, okay? You just can't see some of the lawn back there. They're actually the same size, guys, okay? So you're like, all right, here's the deal, you know? Uh, if you want to mow this lawn, I'll give you $50 a month for mowing this lawn. Well, this kid's like, oh, I hate mowing lawn. I don't really want to mow the lawn. It's like, I know, but I need the lawn mowed. I need the lawn mowed. Just come on, come on, mow the lawn. And they're like, oh, well, maybe I could, I don't know, maybe I could. I could do maybe some of it. I don't know if I could do all of it, but I really need the lawn mowed, okay? So you decide, okay, here's the deal. Welcome. Thanks for hopping on here. So you're like, all right, here's the deal. I know you don't really like to, to mow lawns, but would you be willing to gas up the lawn mower? And at least, you know, would you, you know, if you could at least make a couple of passes around the lawn, you know, and, and do as much as you can, if you do that, I'll give you, I'll give you $50 a month. Okay. So, kid number one is getting $50 a month, and child number two is getting $50 a month. And for child number two, it's like, you do as much as you can, and I'll mow the rest. What do you think about that? What's your feedback on that? What do you think? If What kind of a scenario are you setting up if that's what you were doing with your kids? Can you imagine that, right? It's like, what are they learning? Okay, now imagine this kid right here, you know? Well, down the road, does this kid know how to mow the lawn? Absolutely. Could this uh, kid down the road know how, would this one be able to teach their kids how to mow the lawn and how to work and get the job done and make the money and would this one have the satisfaction of doing the whole job and, and getting paid for it, right? What about this one? In the beginning, it's like, well, you don't like to do it really, but hey, hey, I need this done. I need the lawn mode. I'm willing to do, you know, some of the work, and I'll still pay you $50. I'll still help you get that money. I'll help you do it. I hope you do that. Get that money, and it's okay, you know, maybe you're not good enough to do it. Maybe you're a little bit, uh, you know, you're, you're not as good as your brother or sister. Obviously, you can't, you know, but hey, it's okay. You're going to make $50 for doing less work. Have you ever thought about that when you think about placing people down under other people for that $50 Power of Three team bonus? Have you ever thought about that? Well, I can tell you that in the beginning, I did do this right here. This was me. This was me helping people who really weren't engaged in it. They were kind of, and they did it, but they weren't in it for the long haul. And I placed people under them. And when you place people under them, they and you build it because you're going to go for your 250 bonus or you're going to go for your 1500 so you're building down under these people that aren't really in it they're still going to get their 50 dollar bonus aren't they right 
Are they going to teach people to do this when they didn't do it? Not likely. Not likely. However, look over here. If you had been, you know, had this person who was working for their 50 and got their 50, they were qualified for their 50 and they knew how to do it. They've enrolled the people, they're getting it. And then down the road, it's like, wow, you need more volume there, right? Well, then if somebody came along all of a sudden and helped them and placed somebody on their team for volume, are they going to appreciate it? Absolutely. You know, if you did that, they're going to appreciate it way more than this person because, you know, they've done the work all the, all the time. It's like, oh, man, you place somebody down here under me on my team? Wow, that's amazing. What about this person? It's kind of like, uh, I didn't hear this story, but it was told to me of something that Tony Robbins, I guess, says, is, was telling a story about, you know, two monkeys, one monkey. Uh, gave him an apple, right? And he's like eating the apple all content, just fine, because that's all he had. But then another monkey gave him two, mo two apples and took one away. Well, that monkey was upset because the one apple was uh, taken away and threw the other apple away, right? Threw it, the apple at the person. It's like, wow, upset, right? So it's like, yeah, if, if you've been given too much and you didn't earn it or you don't, you know, Gosh, it's a whole different thing rather than, you know, if you've done this and, and that's how you got there. You did the work. You got there. You earned it. So this is just another way of looking at the $50 Power 3 Team bonus. How do you want to build it? Do you want to build it strong for the long haul? If you do... Teach people to mow their own yard for their $50 bonus. Teach them how to enroll their own people. Teach them how to do it. It's like the parent can totally teach this kid how to do it. Can teach this kid too, right? But if you do it for somebody, that's a whole different story. 